welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, if you guys cannot tell by the title below, I'm going to be giving you guys a what is on my iPad for 2024. I've never filmed a what is on my iPad video and I've had my iPad for two years. All right, you guys. So usually I don't do sit down videos when I do like what's on my phones. I usually just screen record and do a voiceover. But for today, I'm going to be just screen recording and you guys are also going to see me at the same time. This is my iPad. I have the ninth generation iPad and I love her. I got my case off of Amazon. I think this is called, it's not a trifold case, but it's just a regular case. Before I did have a trifold case and I loved it. I've been trying to find another one with a really cute pattern, but I just haven't been able to find one. But I will leave the link to this iPad case down below. I think it was like $14, $15, something around there. But y'all, it is so sticking cute. So I'm going to go ahead and open her and I'm going to stop rambling. Let's get right into today's video. Okay, so going into my iPad, you guys, the first thing that you guys see is obviously all the apps I have on my first page. But before I get into to the apps that I have and all the generic apps, I want to get into my widgets. So I only have two widgets on my iPad total and the first one just says in my living my best life era because it's 2024, that's what we're doing. And I got it off of Pinterest because obviously Pinterest is where it's at. Now, beside the widget, all I have is the generic apps. Okay, the first page that I have on my iPad is filled with nothing but generic, okay? So for the sake of time and you guys' attention span, I'm gonna skip the basic apps like the App Store, files, weather, all of that, and we're gonna go straight into photos. All right, so when you open up my photo tab, a lot of it is mostly my nephew at the moment because he is visiting, and so we've been taking so many pictures of this man, like it's not even funny. So I guess I'll give you guys a little rundown. I'm gonna just scroll up. Oh, hold on. I wanna show you guys my Valentine's Day pictures because I slayed them, okay? Just take a minute and admire the photo. Just look at, look at it. Look at this, you guys. I slayed my Valentine's Day photo shoot. And it was so last minute. I took these pictures at like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. If you guys wanna check out all of them, you can go ahead over to my Instagram, which I will put on the screen and in the description box below. On my spam page as well. That will be in the description box below as well. Cause yeah, who wouldn't wanna follow me? And I follow back, so yeah. Now moving on from photos, we have my YouTube. Obviously you guys know I have this app. And so I'm gonna show you guys this app, cause why not? On here is just everybody that I watch. I watch BJTV. Um, I love watching Little Women of LA, Miami, Atlanta. I also follow um, Loaded, Little Perfect Vlogs. I love watching a lot of Housewives of Atlanta and I don't even watch the full episodes, you guys. I just like seeing them bigger because it's like, why? And it'd be the littlest things. But anyways, that's my YouTube. And obviously you guys already know this cause you're watching me, but check out my YouTube channel and go subscribe. I know you're already on it, but go subscribe. I just had to remind you guys to go subscribe. So go do that and like this video if you haven't already cause you've made it this far, what are you doing? But now moving on from YouTube, I'm gonna go straight to clock. We can go there. I usually keep some of my school alarms on here. I'll put an alarm on my phone and my iPad sometimes, or I'll just do my iPad. So here are just a couple of those. And then from there, I have Widget Smith. That is how I put these little widgets on my iPad. Now going over to the bottom row, you see I have messages. Now I don't usually message off my iPad. So there's literally nothing in there, but I have that. Safari, calendar, notes. Now notes I do use. This is where I will put like all of my YouTube video ideas. Like here are just a couple that I haven't done and some that I have done. Obviously the ones with the green check I've done and the other ones I haven't. Matter of fact, I think I have what's on my iPad on here. Yeah, I do. I do have what's on my iPad and it hasn't been checked yet, but after this video goes up, it will be. So my notes app actually does get used. <laughs> it does surprisingly, but anyways. Then next to that, obviously I have my most used apps, I think, which are my photos, clock, and YouTube. All right, now swiping over to my next page is where I have absolutely everything that I use on this iPad of mine, okay? So in the upper left-hand corner, I have another widget. It says, girl, you got this because we do. Now beside that, we have my entertainment little, what do you call that, like group? I don't really know, like, oh, folder, folder. Okay, so when I go into that, I have Disney Plus, I have Hulu, Zeus, and my Apple Music. All of this I use, which is why I group them all in there, because I have a subscription for all of them and I use them all frequently. So that's why I have that there. My favorite thing that I've been watching on Hulu lately is MasterChef and Little Women of LA, like I said, and Law and Order. Love that too. And then on Zeus, I just watch Baddies East, which I do not need to be watching because it messes with my spirit, okay? But I, I'm getting over it, I'm getting over it. Now going into my Apple Music, I just wanted to show you guys my playlist real fast. Oh wait, it won't show my playlist. 
on my iPad because I'm not signed in. Because I don't usually listen to music on my iPad and if I do, I just type it in. I haven't like signed in at all. So that makes sense. But anyway, so all this music that I've listened to, obviously it's up here because it's recent, but remember that I don't listen to this often. So this is really like months ago recent. But anyways, enough of Apple Music. Now moving on to my next folder. I have photo and video and in here I just have CapCut because that is what I use to edit all of my YouTube videos. And then I have PixArt because that is what I use to edit my thumbnails. I also use a little bit of CapCut to edit my thumbnails as well. But if you guys wanted to know what I use, that's what I use. Then from there we have my shopping folder. Okay. These are the apps that I use to go shopping. So obviously we have Shein, I'll go ahead and open that. You guys, I already have lots in my cart because my birthday is coming up and we're going to Cancun. That was supposed to be a surprise, but I guess it's not really a surprise anymore. So I have all of this stuff in my cart and I need to go through it before I decide what I'm going to really get and not get, but that's just my Shein, okay? And Shein has sales all the time. They really need to sponsor me because I shout them out too much. But yeah, go check them out because I love them. So so yeah, Shein. Then besides that, we have Timu. Now Timu, I don't even really order off of that unless I get like free gifts and my mom sends me a link where I can get free stuff. So that's just there. I'm not even gonna open it, but just know it's there. Then besides that, we have Amazon. Now, okay, look, Amazon gets used, okay? Amazon is literally one of my favorite, favorite, favorite app stores, whatever, ever, okay? Just A1 and their products never fail me. I don't think I've ever gotten a product off of Amazon that I wasn't happy with. Can you tell how much I love them? I'm stuttering. But enough about Amazon, y'all, let's move on. Next to that is Vuglam. Now Vuglam is where I order all of my prescription glasses because they have sales every other day. I don't know why I said every other day, every day. When I go in the app, I like to go to women, obviously, and I like to click sort by because then I can go to low to high and see all of their glasses that are on sale. They literally have frames for zero bucks. Y'all see this? And the list just goes on and on and on. Obviously, I'm not gonna go through this, but y'all, I love it. And that is just the price for the frame. So when you go ahead and put your prescription in, which literally costs about $15, if even, really cheaper than that, honestly. Sometimes when I put my prescription in, my total for the glasses with the prescription in will come up to $11 because they're just that good and they've never let me down. If you guys know anything about me, I shout out Boot Glam every time someone asks about my glasses. Okay, so yeah, enough about them, but that's my that's my folder where I buy everything. Now moving down, we have my education folder. In here, I just have my Canvas account. That is where I can see all my classes, my grades, assignments, to do all of that good stuff. And then I have Paycom. That is where I can approve my checks, clock in and clock out at work. And then Outlook is my school email where I answer my emails, obviously. Next to that, I have my finance folder. This is where I use money and this is the people that takes my money. So I have my Capital One app. This is where I can see my balance on my credit card, pay my credit card off, see my credit score. That's all that good stuff. If you have a credit card, you already know. Okay. Next, I have my Progressive app. This is my car insurance. That's just where I go to pay it pretty self-explanatory. Then I have my bank, which is Truist. I also bank with Navy Federal, but I don't keep that one on my iPad just because I don't need it. I have it on my phone, so yeah. Then I have my Cash app, which I barely really use, honestly. And my Verizon, which is where I go to pay for my phone bill. I don't know why I had to think about that, but yeah. Now that we're done with all the folders, I'm gonna get into my social media apps, which is TikTok. You guys already know what TikTok is. I love me some TikTok. And my For You page is always on point. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. That girl was so funny. <laughs> Matter of fact, follow me on TikTok. I don't really be on here often, but I do go on here and occasionally post a couple videos of myself if there's a really good sound going on. So I have a couple TikToks, so go check me out. I will leave the link to my TikTok in the description box below and I follow back, so go do that. Next, I have my Instagram. This is pretty self-explanatory. If you guys are subscribed to me and don't follow me on Instagram yet, I really don't know what you're doing. But you definitely need to go check me out. And on here are the Valentine's photos that I told you guys about. I slayed them and can't nobody tell me otherwise. Next on here, I have YouTube Studio, but we're not gonna go in there because y'all don't need to see all my stuff, okay? Then on here, I have my Pinterest. I guess I'll go into that, but it's pretty like basic. When I go to Pinterest, you guys, I'm usually looking up outfit ideas or a new wallpaper for my iPad. So on here, here is not really much. Oh, that is cute, y'all. Look at this. That is so pretty. 
and so is she. Okay, anyway, let's get off this. Uh, Pinterest, that's Pinterest. Next to that, I have cycles. This is where I track my period. Cause y'all, I've been losing track of my period here and there. Not recently, but I just have. So I ended up downloading this app one day and I love it. So it lets me know when my period is going to start. And according to this, it's starting in two days. Next to that, I have Indeed. I'm not really gonna log into that. Just know it's an app where you can look at jobs and find jobs. That's pretty much it. And then below that, I have two apps that do this exact same thing pretty much. I have Nebo and I have Good Notes. This is where you can take um, notes on your iPad with your Apple Pen or whatever pen that you use for your iPad. I guess I'll go ahead and go into Nebo because this is the one that I love and prefer over Good Notes. It's just that I downloaded Good Notes because I ran out of pages to use on this app and I didn't want to purchase a subscription. Um, but I love this app. Okay, I absolutely love it. And this is what I use to take my notes from my one of my psychology classes and I just love how it writes and how it zooms in like I just I really love it so yeah get the app I love it and really I should put that in my education folder I wonder why I didn't do that but I'm going to do that and now last but not least you guys I have a game on my iPad it's called Helix Jump I play this when I get bored I remembered it when it first came out a couple years ago and I was like I need that game because I was bored one day and I just wanted to play the game as you guys can tell, I haven't made it very far in the game, but I do love the game. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna play it real quick. <laughs> Ooh, look how good. See, I'm good at the game. It's not like I'm not good. It's just, I don't play it often. Oh shoot, okay. Whatever, y'all just saw me play it. Now that completes my what is on my iPad. Even when you go over and it shows you the whole like library, um, I've shown you guys all the apps. So that will end today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys love videos like this, like what is on my iPad, what is on my phone, what is in my backpack, what is in my purse. If you guys love those videos, comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see more of the type of videos from me. That completes today's video, you guys. If you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making this video, you guys already know what to do like comment and subscribe follow me on all of my social medias which will be in the sketch box below and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell so you guys can be updated every time i upload once again the link to my instagram spam to this amazon case and to where you can purchase the ninth generation ipad will all be in the description box below and you guys already know i will see you guys in my next one bye guys